Hello YouTube and welcome to another uh, Splunk tutorial. So in this video we will continue our investigation of the Cisco ASA using Splunk and we'll actually be taking a look at visualization in Splunk. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you may know visualization such as charts, graphs and the maps or also dashboards provide a more intuitive way to understand complex data sets okay so as we say a picture worth a thousand of words okay so this visualization can actually uncover patterns trends and anomalies in data that might be difficult to identify through raw data alone okay so the visualization is a powerful tool for effective communication, okay? Whether it's presenting data or actually corroborating with the team members, okay? So as you have seen on the last videos, we actually get some data as syslog messages from actually Cisco ASA, okay? So the process was actually pretty straightforward. So I will just here brief you how we can actually catch syslog messages from Cisco ASA. All you have to do actually is to go to the settings, data inputs, okay? And you have to add the UDP port for syslog, okay? So here we go. We have set up, as you can see here, for the local UDP port. We have set up UDP port number 514 in order catch syslog messages sent by our Cisco ASA so as you can see here and we have also configured as source type Cisco ASA okay and with that we can actually get a lot of information about our Cisco ASA okay so if I go to the search and if I type actually the famous uh, searching uh, processing language or SPL in this search here so as you remember our index was actually ASA index and source type was Cisco ASA and if I do search I can actually get a lot of information for our actually Cisco ASA okay so here I will try to visualize that for example I will try to visualize the destination IP addresses in the maps of the world in order to see from where our packets are coming okay so the first thing that you notice here that we have some row lines from Cisco ASA okay and if I take a look at the all fields so if I click on this row here I get all the fields that I can search for but I don't have any field corresponding to the destination IP address for example okay but if I take a look here you can see that I get a lot of uh, IP addresses external one for example this one for example is an external IP address because it's coming from the outside interface okay so how can we actually extract from this raw data here the destination IP addresses okay so in Splunk it's pretty easy to do that I will show you how so all you have to do is to go here extract new fields so you have to click on this plus in order to add a new field okay so here the steps that I have to go through in order to set up a new field so here select sample event okay so the first thing that we have to do is to select an event from the list of uh, syslog messages so i will try to select one in order to select actually the ip or the destination ip address okay so let me take a look for example this one here okay because it's coming from the outside interface so let's choose this one okay so you can see has been selected now so all I have to go to do is to go to the next step 
So the next step is to select the method. So here, as you can see, indicate the method you want to use to extract your fields. So you can use delimiters, for example, you can here use spaces or commas in order to delimit your specific field. Or you can go with the regular expressions, okay? So here I will have all I have to do is actually to uh, choose this one regular expressions. So as you can see in the description, Splunk Enterprise will extract fields using regular expression. So let's choose this one. Then I will go next. Okay. So here I have to highlight one or more values in order to select the fields or actually to create extracted fields. So or as I told you, I want actually to choose the destination IP address. So for example, here, as you can see beside outside keywords, there is a colon, then this is the IP address. So let's highlight it and Splunk will select it. Okay, so you can see here, it has extracted this IP address. So I have to give this uh, field a name. So let's just call it destination IP address address okay as you can see so I will add an extraction here so now I will have to validate this selection here okay so you can see here it has selected all the external IP addresses okay so this is for example the Google DNS so someone is trying to actually do a DNS request but for me it's okay so let's go next so next validate your field extraction and remove values that are incorrect so for example for me it's okay i am satisfied with the selected fields that uh, splunk has actually chosen so all i have to do is to go next then finally here i have to save the f extracted fields so here you can see at the bottom so this is the regular expression that uh, splunk has actually found okay so let's finish that so now we are done we extracted our fields okay so i can go actually explore fields I just created in search so I can just select this option and you can see that Splunk now is actually has added a new field so here you can see before this destination IP was not found but now as you can see it has found plus 100 entries in this destination IP address so now let's exploit this destination IP address in order to actually get a map of actually the destination IP address in the map world, okay? So first of all, I will do here a query that involves this destination IP, okay? So here I will use another function actually. This function is called T stats. So if you go to the Splunk uh, documentation and you search for the T stats, you can see here this command. Use the T stats command to perform statistical queries on index field. Okay. So here I will use it in our Splunk. So all I have to do is to pipe that to count actually by a destination IP address okay here we go so let's see what we get so here you can see the count of all the IP addresses that I get okay so this is all the external destination IP addresses that are found on our Cisco ASA syslog okay I can do more on that. I can actually try to locate those IP addresses where they are coming from. I'm, I mean, on the world. 
So for that I will use another function called IP location. Okay. So let me see the documentation of the IP location in Splunk documentation. So you can see here IP location. So the IP location command extract location information from the IP addresses using a third party databases. So let's use it in order to see what we get. So I will pipe that IP location. And of course I want the destination IP address of my field actually. So let's search on that. And hopefully you can see now our destination IPs and the location. We have the country here and we have the city, okay? So some I'm coming from United States, some I'm coming from Canada. Okay, so it seems that they have a lot of things that are coming from Canada. Okay, so this is very, very, some actually are coming from also from Germany. So this is very useful if you want to actually know if you have an attack and you want to see from which they are coming from. Okay, but I can go further on that and show that on the map, on the world map. Okay. And for that, I have to use what we call another function called geostats. Okay, so let's see the definition of the geostats commands. So geostats. So use the geostats command to generate statistic to display geographic data and summarize the data on the maps. Okay, so I can use that, but before to use it. I must also provide for this function two important fields, which is the latitude and longitude. But hopefully here the IP location has provided also with the latitude and longitude of each IP address. So let's pipe that also to the geostats. Stats, okay. And as I told you, I have to provide the latitude field here is equal to our lat okay and longitude field longitude field is equal to our launch as you can see here on the table okay and let's uh, count by IP or destination IP address which is our field that we have extracted so I guess now we have everything in order to display that on the map, okay? So let's search for that. As you can see, I get uh, no result found, so maybe I did a mistake, a typo here. Yes, on the longitude field, the name is not launch, but L-O-N, okay? So you have to make sure you spell the field correctly. And here we go. Now we get the result. We can visualize that on the world map. So if I click here on this uh, visualization, you can see the, the destination IP address where are they are located in the world map. So you can see a lot of IP addresses are actually on the United States. That's normal. We are using a lot of uh, things from Microsoft and Google that are located on the United States. And others are some servers around the world. For example, here in India or China or something like that. And if I go to any point here I can see the exact location from where this IP address is located okay so you can see how easy it is to use uh, this function here IP location with geostats in order to get exact location of the destination IP addresses you can also do the same if you have uh, if you want to actually extract for example source IP addresses okay so it depends on your needs, okay?
So that was just a brief video to show you how to visualize data. Here we have chosen the destination IP addresses on the world map in order to see from where an attack, for example, is coming. And of course, here you can modify your query in order to add other parameters, like for example, uh, an error or something like that. So we'll see that on other videos. So as always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.